Alrighty guys, I'm gonna give my sister the costume that I got at the Goodwill. Upload it from your phone and then you upload it there, but I feel like Rite Aid is better, but it's like five to seven days. Jasmine, look at this. Yeah, I'm not going to go. I feel like I'm going to have I think it's like a combination of outfits. So that one is Sarah. This is like Winifred. And then that's Winifred's skirt. But it like all just came together, so <laughs> you can just wear the skirt. You can like be all of them, but that's just the that's Sarah's outfit. This is so funny. You can put a petticoat underneath it. I just put that underneath of it. It's like a petticoat because there's like a petticoat in here. Yeah, you so can I just, can wear, just it wear it underneath. underneath. Yeah, even though I think that's Winifred's. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so, ooh, look at this. We are making some delicious paninis for breakfast. I cannot wait to eat this. It looks so, so yummy. You guys, my food looks so good. I can't wait to eat. What kind of chips are these, mom? These are, let me show these. These are mom and Yasmin's favorite chips. So yummy. So good. So good. It's like vinegary, pickly, like party in your mouth. Party, party. Party, party. All right, you guys, a quick update. I have, um, these are my little gemstone things that I always find at the throw. Oh, I don't always find them. I think this is my third and then the fourth one that I found. Um, this orange one, I don't think is like any particular brand or anything. And then this diamond one is actually a Rosenthal which is pretty cool because these are um, pretty pricey, but I don't know, I just like to collect them because I think they're pretty and shiny. I literally want to like stick them inside Because <laughs> I'm crazy, but I feel like they're really good. I used to have a yellow one. That was the first one I ever thrifted. And um, that one, unfortunately, was dropped on the floor by Elizo. But I'm gonna wash these right now because they're like, they have like pen marks on them and stuff. So I'm gonna clean them off. Okay, I clean. Look how pretty they look. They are so shiny and so shimmery. Um, I think I am actually. I'm just gonna like hide them on the table and <laughs> see if anyone notices. Um, I'm gonna stick one over here where mom usually sits. Right over here. Just gonna tuck it in like right there. This is so funny. I'm like so crazy. And then I'm just gonna stick the other one like. Also, um, mom got these, what are these called again? Amaryllis bulbs, which are so cool. I, have, I don't know why I never knew about these. Apparently they always have them. But they're amaryllis bulbs, and then they're just uh, dipped in wax. And they grow. You don't have to put them in water or anything. And I don't know, it's pretty cool. Each of the kids claimed one. I think this one is Zach's. And then Eliza and Cade. I don't remember, but yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna like stick them inside here and watch them grow. Alright you guys, I just <laughs> wanted to um I actually wanted to put this uh like screen protector on my watch because I don't know if I told I think I did tell you guys about my last watch that I got and I got it from the Goodwill as well and I love that watch. Um but I literally shattered the screen like it fell like this and then um, I'll actually show you guys where it fell it fell right here like this is the table that it fell off of like this um, it has like a little marble top metal right here and it fell like just from here like this and it hit the corner like right there and then it shattered into a million pieces so it was very traumatizing. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this thing broke. Um, I didn't even have it for very long, but <sighs> it's okay. I still have it. I think I might try to like get the screen fixed, but um, getting the screen fixed I think was going to cost more than I paid for the watch and actually more than just getting a new one like that's like, pr like pre-loved or something. So I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it, but uh, 
I do know I want to get this one nice and uh, protected. This one is actually a newer watch too. This is the Series 4. I think the other one that I had might have been like maybe a 2 or a 1. I think it might have been a 2 actually. Um, but I was able to get this too from the Goodwill which was $7.99. And um, I don't know. I don't really have a good track record of um, actually putting these things on. So I'm like I'm actually pretty scared of doing this, so I don't know. We're gonna do this together. Uh, but hope you guys are having a good day while you're watching this. Um, it has been a little hectic at the house. Um, Eliza had just had like this really big project. I love how like Eliza's kindergarten project has made our house hectic, but it was just really funny. He had to make like a poster board thing. And, um, my sister was, like, working on it with him, and it was so cute. And then he had to actually record a video of it, and I recorded the video for him, and then I, like, edited it up a little bit, like, just, like, a little bit. And then, um, his class watched it, but I actually don't think they watched it yet. I think they might actually watch it sometime this week. I thought they were gonna watch it today, but I think my sister said that the class didn't have enough time today. Because tomorrow is a holiday, so they think the teacher wanted to fit in as much today because tomorrow they don't have school. And, yeah. I love, like, these little wipe things. Like, I have them for my camera, but then I always use them, like, on my screens and stuff. Ugh, I feel like I, like, always need to, like, clean my technology. <laughs> but I love these little wipes. I just got these from, I think these were from Target. The best ones that I've ever used, though, are the Nikon ones, which I think I got from either Costco or Sam's Club. Um, but the Nikon brand ones, I feel like, are so good. They don't have, like, any lint or anything. These sometimes have a little bit of lint, so I want to make sure I just get, like, all the lint off of here when I do this. Because having lint trapped underneath the screen protector would not be good. So I did it, except it's a little bit of a hot mess because there's literally, like, dust and stuff, like, stuck inside of here. Um, but I mean, it doesn't look too bad. And it's not really noticeable once you get the wash on. I don't know. I think it's fine. Um, if I find another one, I'll get it and try to do it again. Um, but, yeah, there was just, like, too much... Uh, I think, like, it was already, like, dusty or, like, something inside of it. Because I think it was, like, already stuck. So, but I don't know. Right now, I'm pretty happy. Other than, um, this and, like, those couple little bumps on there. It looks pretty good. So, I'm pretty happy. Ah, okay. I just finished filming, um... Some haul videos, I finished filming a shoe rehab video, which I'm really excited about. And now, I'm sitting in my room and... Oh, you know, I wanted to condition some bags with you guys. And I was thinking if I should do, like, um... Because what, when we uh, had to, like, evacuate, um, we did bring, like, a lot of, like, bags... <laughs> <laughs> Cause you know, like I don't know, uh, you know, like you guys know how, lo how much I love bags. Mom has a really good collection as well. Plus, like, uh, mom has a lot of like sentimental value with her bags. Like, whenever she bought bags um, in the past, like she'd buy them for like a special reason or a special purpose. So, like, each thing has like a very sentimental value, and she like 
all that stuff. And then all of my bags that I've thrifted are very sentimental because <laughs> I got a good deal. You guys know how I am. But like, um, upon getting them all out, I was like, wait a minute, mom's handbags haven't been conditioned for like a hot second, which is so bad. Um, so I wanted to condition, I actually already started conditioning a lot of them and I've already put them away. Um, I have a few more, which I didn't know that mom like still had inside, um, her car in the garage. And I was like, oh my gosh, they've just been sitting inside there, but I mean, it's okay. Um, but especially because the other bags, like, like, or her bags in general, like, they've just been like sitting and they need, definitely need like conditioning. I was like looking at them, I was like, ooh, like some of them are like a little... Um, a little dusty or maybe looking a little dry so always important to keep your handbags hydrated especially when they're in storage um, because you don't want anything to like happen to them you know you want to have them forever uh, so I was thinking about like doing maybe like a Q&A while I'm cleaning them or doing like a live video um, so I'm probably not gonna clean them today uh, maybe I'll wait till tomorrow. I don't know, but comment down below. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll, uh, do that with you guys. I don't know if you guys want, like, a live video where, like, I can talk and answer questions about stuff or whatever, about thrifting and handbag rehabs and all that. Um, what else was I gonna say? Ooh, I'm super excited for dinner because tonight Mom's making, I think it's called Galbi... Galbi tang, it's like a Philip, not Filipino, it's a Korean beef rib soup, and it's so delicious, it's like my, one of my favorite, favorite soups. Uh, mom and I have been, uh, boiling the meat, like, all day to make sure that it's nice and soft and tender for when we eat it, and, um, yeah. That's kind of what I've been doing all day, just, like, kind of watching that, and then I've been, like, tidying up my room. Uh, after, like, we evacuated and, like, came back, I feel like everything's kind of just, like, been a mess. I've been, like, slowly trying to, like, put everything away. And I think now I'm at a place where I'm pretty happy with where everything is. Um, and I do also want to, um, condition some of my bags as well, um, that are in my room. So I just have, like, a lot of bags I need to condition. Maybe I will just start conditioning some bags before, um this video goes up. This video is gonna go up tomorrow, so just let me know what you guys think, because I definitely will still have bags that need a condition, so let me know guys, what you guys want to do with that. Um, I'm gonna put away the stuff that I hauled. It's not, like, too much, but I'm really excited because I found these for mom. These are those, like, um, rub, like, not rubber, but, like, those elastic bands or whatever, and mom has been looking for these forever because she likes to make masks. She makes so many masks. She sends them out. Like, mom is so sweet. She, um, she sends them out to, like, healthcare workers. Um, and, like, literally, like, all of my mom's friends are nurses, too. So she, like, sent, like, she makes so many masks and she'll send them out to them. And then, like, they'll, like, distribute them as well, like, in their hospitals. Like, my cousin's a nurse and all that stuff. So... Um, mom is just so fantastic, and we've been, um, I've just been buying, like, those, uh, hair ties at Target, and that's what she uses to, like, um, for, like, the thing to go around your ear, but I think this will be fantastic. Um, I got, like, white and black, and these are gonna go a long, long way, because these are, like, huge quantities, especially the white one, it's, like, super full, and they were really good prices, like, this one was $2.99 at Goodwill, this one was $1.99. I remember when we were looking at prices online, like, they were out of control and she did order one and I don't know even I don't even know if it ever came so um and I don't think it did because she's never started using them she's just been using the hair ties um so yeah and I'm gonna put this stuff away uh I also got this like I know this is gonna be a haul video but like whatever um I've been looking for these plates at Target and I didn't know that it came in black so if you guys have ever seen these black ones at your Target let me know I've only ever seen like the like the off white one and then the gray ones that I have and I think I might have seen like an even darker color gray than what I have now but I've never seen the black ones which I think are so super cool I think like black plates are so pretty and like so like 
cool looking. I don't know. Like, when you eat, you always eat with your eyes first. And I feel like this really makes the food pop. I don't know. You guys know how much I like to take pictures of food. Mom loves taking pictures of food. Probably even more than I do. You know, we love to eat and cook. So, uh, I really want to hopefully maybe find a set of these as well. But right now, I just have the one. I still need three more of the gray ones. And, yeah. So, I don't know. That's the update for right now. Um... I'll see you guys again in a second. So I'm, these are, this is the pumpkin that I thrifted. It's exactly the same ones that I got from Target. And I also got these little guys too to add like a little bit more texture to the table. So I'm going to add these into here right now. And then I got these guys too. This is that thrifted Emil Henry that I just got from the thrift store. The bottom looks pretty dirty. Um, so I'm going to try to use the pink stuff on it and see how clean I can get it using just that. Okay, so I did this side with it and mom said to use baking soda on this side and see how it works. So I'm going to use baking soda on this other side. Alright, let's wash it down and see how it looks. I don't know, this baking soda side looks pretty good, yeah. but the other side also looks good. Maybe they're like the same thing. Alright you guys, we are finally eating my soup, looks so good, I have my rice right there, I'm ready to eat. Hey guys, okay so, it's many hours later, I know I didn't really film anything at all today, because I was getting a bunch of work done on my computer, but... Um, it is now dinner time. Mom has been um, cleaning out her closet. Um, she's going through everything. We're, I think we're going to send another set of um, boxes back to the Philippines. Uh, we've done this a bunch of times before. We just did it a couple of months ago recently. Um, they're called Balik Bayan boxes and I have like, I have a bunch of stuff that I wanted to send. Like I, uh, my aunts wanted like, uh, like more platters and plates and like bowls and stuff so I got like really cute stuff for them but I just need uh, clothing and mom was like oh I'm gonna clean out my closet and we'll send um, a bunch of my clothes that I don't wear anymore I don't fit or whatever etc so she's cleaning out her closet right now she's still working on it so I am in charge of dinner and for the kids I'm just gonna make some orange chicken this is what happens when I'm in charge of dinner yeah. <laughs> You don't necessarily get a super gourmet meal, but it's going to be delicious. Um, orange chicken from Trader Joe's and stuff is so, so good. And then um, I'm going to make the tempura cauliflower from Trader Joe's as well. This is literally my favorite. I always show that to you guys. And then um, mom has made a bunch of these and then she just froze them. I'm going to make skinless longanisa. And I'm going to make all of this in the air fryer. I'm going to start off with the chicken and then the tempura. Because the, the kids are going to eat first. Because uh, dad isn't back home from work yet anyway. So the kids are going to have like an earlier dinner. Then I'm going to make the tempura. Which hopefully will be okay in the oven. Because usually I like to eat the tempura right after I make it. But I have to make the longanisa last because it's the messiest. And... It like kind of splatters and stuff, so then the basket in the air fryer will be too dirty um, for the cauliflower. So that's what's gonna happen right now. Let's get cooking. Also, the reason I'm making this is because we actually had um, this stuff that we brought out. Uh, one of them is carne asada, and I think the other one is like a barbecue beef marinade. They're literally both still frozen and. Yeah, so we'll probably <laughs> do those tomorrow. And yeah, so this is what I'm about to make tonight. Also, I'm having a coffee because it's so cold. Ugh, so good. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, yum, yum, yum. Love too about um, using the air fryer and... Woo! Good thing I just cleaned the counter. The air fryer and the um, mandarin chicken from Trader Joe's is that this whole bag just fits inside there so I can toss just one whole bag inside and then it's like perfect I just like to make sure it just like covers the bottom nothing's like too um, on top of each other stick that in there 
I put it to the highest setting, which is on here, is 400. And usually 15 minutes will do the trick. I don't know, for some reason, whenever, like the first time you use it, it takes a little bit longer. But usually it's about 15 minutes um, for this guy. And also this is the brand of, uh, of air fryer that I have. Um, they actually sent me this. And like to review it like a while ago. I don't know if my coupon code still works I'll check and I'll let you guys know if it does. This isn't an ad or anything, but this is just my favorite air fryer I got sent another one by a different brand and this one is The superior one and this is the one that I got sent first like the other one was still good, too but this one just works a little bit better and I actually gifted the other one to my aunt because she wanted one. I was like, here, you can just have this one. Um, but yeah, this one, fantastic. I think they actually, actually also sell this at uh, this brand at Target if you guys want to check it out over there as well if the coupon code doesn't work. But yeah. All right, my chicken is done. And then over here at the stove, I have my sauce that I heated up. Looks nice and ready for the chicken. So just gonna pop this out like that and throw it in like that. And that goodness in there. And then just mix it up and then it's good to go. This is literally so good, you guys. I think this is the best orange chicken of like, and I've ever had like from anywhere. It just tastes so good. I used to think like Panda Express had really good orange chicken, but like this is by far like the most delicious I have tasted anywhere in any restaurant that I've ever had orange chicken. And trust me, I've had a lot of orange chicken. So, so good. I would always go back to this one. This one is so yummy. All right, so that is done. Let's go into the cabinet here. Get a nice bowl. Set that right here. There we go. Delicious. Now I'm gonna go call the kids so that they can eat. Okay, so now that the chicken is done, we can throw in the cauliflower. Again, the whole bag fits inside perfectly. I literally cook it for about the same amount of time and at the same temperature as the chicken. So, it's good to go. Here we go. Stick it in the air fryer. God bless this machine because seriously, it is the best. And we'll see you guys when it's done. All right, take out the cauliflower. We're gonna throw in the beef. Let's do it for 10 minutes. I think this one cooks faster than the other ones. But I put my tempura cauliflower in here. I didn't put the sauce in yet so it stays crispy as long as possible. Then I'm going to toss it all together afterwards when we're ready to eat. Alright, so here is some of the longanisa. Um, cauliflower is still waiting inside there and I just put in my new batch of longanisa inside of the air fryer right now. Uh, it takes about like 8 minutes to cook it perfectly so that's the temperature using 400, 8 minutes. Perfect. Guys, I am in my room now. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out today. It was so much fun. Um, today I pretty much just stayed home and was like doing stuff around the house. Uh, tomorrow though, I think I might go to like uh, what's it called, like Home Goods or something, because Mom wanted me to go check it out because she was like watching someone's YouTube video and like apparently they're like all of Christmas stuff is out and I was like there's no way and I was like watching it with her and there's so much stuff so I want to go check it out and see if our store has any of that stuff because I feel like our store like 
they'll get stuff, but then, like, it'll sell out in, like, two seconds. Like, lickety split. Like, it's crazy how quickly the stuff there sells. And it literally looks like there's, like, nothing every time I go in. Like, you guys have seen it. Like, every time I go in, it's, like, the shelves are, like, not really that full. There's not that much stuff. Um, but, like, when they get new stuff, they'll stock it up. And, like, the next time I go back, like, everything's gone. So, stuff in that store just sells really quickly. Um, update on my watch. It's looking better. I mean, as long as it's protecting the glass, that's all I really care about. So, that's good. But I think, I don't know what's wrong with it. I feel like the bubbles in it are like, I don't know. Like, it's like, I don't know. I feel like buttons are getting pressed on it when I'm not actually pressing them. And that never happened when I didn't have the little thing on it. So, we'll see. Uh, also, update on my hair. I actually really like this length. I don't know if you can tell the difference. I am getting more volume in the front now because I cut I cut off like another, um, I think like four to five inches. And it goes pretty much down here before. It like went all the way like down here. Like my hair was so long. I don't even know how it got that long. I was just like always scared of um, cutting the top because it's really hard to get the top even when you're doing it yourself because it's really hard to like maneuver your hands and like kind of like see the different like the lengths of your hair than like actually cutting it like it's like very like the hand-eye coordination and just like the level of like agility to do it it's just like really hard so, like I was like I think it took me like over an hour to try and come I think I was like in the bathroom for like an hour and a half trying to like cut it. I still think it's super crooked, but it's like a lot better than it was. Um, and yeah, so, oh, also I am. Okay, so we did have a sale in the shop for, it was a 30% off sale for like the Black Friday thing. I, I think I'm going to be extending it because I'm just going to have like Black Friday until I feel like not having it anymore. Um, so if you see anything in the shop, I want to upload to like a bunch of new stuff in there as well. Um, so anything you see, if it's not marked off 30% already, just send me a message and I'll mark it down for you. Everything is down below in the description box. And yeah, so that's the end of the video. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all tomorrow at 7am for a new video. Alright, bye!